Hi, and welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my quilting room. Today is Tuesday, which is Sewing Talk Tuesday, where we get together. We talk about all things sewing, crafting, quilting, whatever we're working on for this week. And so today I'm going to just jump right in, and we're going to talk about... Um, some projects and things that I've been working on. I can't wait to show you some of these items. I think you're really going to love them. So the first thing that I really wanna show you is this adorable, adorable little baby set that I've been working on. Um, this is for a baby shower for my mom to take as a gift, but this is a cute little basket that I have made. It's adorable, isn't it? So I got the basket off of Amazon. This is a Woodland Animals um, basket. I will try to link to the shop where I got this from off of Amazon, if I can find it. Um, it has some really, I just put some Q-tips in there. I think I got this at Dollar Tree. Um, then I made this adorable little shirt. I did put these on Instagram. I think I just mentioned that, um, but I'll show you one. The baby's name is going to be Winter, which is pretty unique. So I wanted to make her some cute things. So this says Little Miss Krabby. I used my um, patterned iron-on vinyl for that. And um, I used my heat press, and that's how I was able to make this. This is just one of those little Gerber uh, onesies. You get them in a pack. I had, a, I think, a five-pack of these in the pink, so I decided to, to use it. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It is so cute. So, And then this one says her name. It says Hello Winter on it. Um, I'll try to find the photo where you can actually read them. And this one says uh, Pretty Little Baby. It's really cute. Again, in pattern vinyl. Um, so I will find those pictures and post them up so that you can see them. And then I had this cute little rattle buddy that I've had for a while, um, that I had purchased for another shower, but, um, it's going to this baby instead. This is a baby that's going to be born into our family. So I'm really excited. And then I made this adorable little bib. Now, I did this with my AccuQuilt. I have a bib die, and that's what the other side looks like. And then I made this adorable burp cloth. I have video on how I did this as well. Super cute. And then this, I'm not going to take apart because it was a nightmare to fold it up this way for me. So but this is a matching blanket. Um, and I used the uh, Recoma, my 10 needle Recoma machine to embroider her name on the backside of her quilt. Um, actually, it's a receiving blanket, I shouldn't say quilt, um, but it turned out so, so very cute. And you can see that that's the pattern so it's a matching set and um, I'm so excited I can't wait for this to get gifted because it's always nice to get um, handmade gifts you know especially when they're customized and whatnot and I've really had a lot of fun working with the Recoma we're going to be doing a lot more projects with it here in the upcoming weeks especially now that Christmas is coming and um, all of that. So they make great gifts. You can embroider shirts. You can embroider, like you saw, a receiving blanket for a baby, anything. So love it. So that is what this little gift basket is. Now I just need to get some plastic, put it together, and then, um, I'll make a card and it's good to go. All right. The next thing that I wanted to show you was that I went to the Dollar Tree of all places and I was able to pick up a book, a notebook that fits perfectly in my folio that I had made and showed you a couple weeks ago, but I finally found it. Um, I wasn't able to find graph paper. I probably should take that price tag off, huh? 
Um, I wasn't able to find graph paper, but good enough. I can jot down my notes and stuff in here. And that'll be a nice little companion to my planner so that when I'm planning all of our projects and stuff, I can just go right here and get it. In case you haven't seen the inside of that. Okay. My mom was super sweet and bought me this cool bowl at the Dollar Tree. It's got pumpkins on it. Um, she told me I needed candy for the craft room. So this is the new candy bowl. And then we bought a bag of candy. And as you can see, I've been eating a lot of candy. Um, but hey, we need candy in our happy space, right? Um, I also picked up these cool little stickers. I got these for my planner because I love to use stickers. Aren't they cute? It's the most cute Halloween ones. And then course birthday one so that when I have a birthday on my planner I can just put that in there I am still using my my memo caddy I love the memo caddy it's working out very very well if you hadn't seen my video on this you should um, it's keeping all of my quilting and scrapbooking and planners and embroidery and all kinds of stuff in there um, keeping it all nice and organized so then I my daughter brought these over so these are my grandson's hats they fight over them I guess <laughs> surprise so I'm going to embroider their names on here or their initials um, and I'll probably go ahead and use the Rakoma to do this because I think it'll be a bit, little bit easier to do that way. And so I will show you how I do that when I go to do those. And then I got these bags. These are laundry bags that I get from Amazon and I use these to make Santa bags. Um, I did a tutorial on that, I want to say last year when I made a bunch of Santa bags. So... I will be making some again this year. So I will. I'm excited. I'll be busy doing that. And then, last but not least, <laughs> I made this guy. This little gnome guy. Isn't he cute? Oh my goodness. I also took a picture and posted this one in, on my Instagram. And I also posted him, I think, on Facebook and in the group. But he is so cute. And yes, I did put a little bow here just because I thought that this was a cute little addition, especially with all the, the colors. So this is that pattern that I was telling you about that I have. I most certainly could tell you where you can get this pattern. And I will link that down below in the description box in case you want to purchase this and you want to make a gnome of your own because it is really, really adorable. So if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to share, that's cool too because sharing is caring. And don't forget to click that little notification bell. You'll get notified each and every time that I upload an awesomely cool new video. And keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.